Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us on this Wednesday morning, and welcome to this educational presentation. Now, today I'd like to start out by asking you a question. Are you still missing trades? For example, are you coming in a little bit too early and entering, and before anything happens, you feel like, well, maybe I should exit the trade, or perhaps you're getting in too late. And you feel as if, well, I missed the boat here because I've actually uh, gotten in at the very top or at the bottom. Well, today I'm going to show you how to enter in two simple steps. Now, this is a very common problem that a lot of traders have, and it's not necessarily their method or their style of trading. It's really that their entries are faulty. For ever, whatever reason, they just seem to have difficulty entering a trade. Some traders, in fact, even have difficulty pulling the trigger. For example, let me share with you this actual uh, trade example that a student of mine brought up with me in NEO, okay, N-I-O. Now, this student had been studying this stock for weeks, if not months, looking for a place to enter. They just wanted a little confirmation to know that this was actually going to take off or what they thought was going to happen. So this particular trader said, I'm going to wait for some type of breakout. And when the breakout does occur, that'll be my sign to get in, okay? Very common way to trade. And so ultimately, this day in October, it did break out of that little topping formation there. But for whatever reason, either they feel like, well, it kind of went up a little bit too quickly and it's closed too high. I don't want to buy at such a high range. Or maybe they scared themselves and said, well, listen, that's just a little bit too much risk. This student decided not to actually buy the stock. And then we all know what happened after that coming into December. OK, well, I explained to the student that. Actually, there were two specific methods that you could have applied that could have helped with this entry where you wouldn't have had to wait for a breakout. And even if you did want to wait for some kind of confirmation, you could have gotten in later. For example, this first method generated lots of signals for entry prior to getting in. So you could have chosen any of these as your entry point. Or if you wanted to wait for that breakout, you simply could have waited to choose any of these different entry points. Now, a lot of traders feel like, well, this is kind of buying high here and the risk is a little bit too much. And it's a lot of too many trades here. I don't know which ones to decide on which ones to take. When I show the student a different method that actually would have had less risk and less trades as well, but would have gotten you at the bottom of those sell offs. For example, the second method generated a buy right down here at the very lows of this short term sell off. And then if you waited for confirmation, it would have waited for this sell off to generate another buy signal. So you see the importance of using these entry points that the student actually had the right idea. It was the right thing to purchase this stock. It's just that the entries were faulty. And this particular uh, member didn't actually know where to enter or how. And you see how these can actually help. So what Pro Trader Strategies and myself did is we decided to contact our programmers. And with the help of that and putting it all together, we have it one click away on our platform, the PTS Primo Charting platform. This is the educational platform that automatically generates these entries for you. So this promises to be a great educational class today where I'm going to teach you about these entries. Welcome once again. My name is Stephen Primo. I'm the president and founder of Specialist Trading. I've been trading now for 44 years. I started my career on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. I was on the floor for 16 years, and nine of those years I was a specialist. So that's where we get the name Specialist Trading. Now, a specialist. If you ever look uh, Google and look at those old pictures where the traders on the floor are making these weird hand signals and yelling back and forth, that's what I did, especially to someone who specialized in making a market. So I made markets in about 60 stocks. I traded and made markets during the crash of 87 and the bull market that followed. So I've traded just about every market environment and I've traded just about every system, every technique you can think of, okay? Uh, even if uh, a lot of students tell me, well, Steve, this is brand new. No one has ever thought of this before. This is something that no one's ever seen. Well, most likely it's been around, it's just been rebranded or renamed, okay? So I know what works in terms of consistency and I know what doesn't work. So the reason why we formula formulated specialist trading and pro trader strategies is to teach you how to trade with the things that have shown consistency throughout the years, not just for a couple of years when the market was doing a certain thing or behaving a certain way, but for decades throughout different type of environments, different type of directions, different type of climates in the uh, economic, uh, you know, uh, economic atmosphere so that your trading strategy and your methods could actually be in sync with any one of those different styles and those different environments. That's what we teach so that ultimately you can be in charge of your trading destiny. Now, 
when I teamed up with ProTrader Strategies, that was our goal to educate you. The reason being is that so you don't have to waste years or even decades searching for that holy grail when it's actually right here in front of you. It's called education and that's what we provide. So you'll see that attention to detail we give in educating you in today's class where we're gonna be talking about these two specific entry methods. Now, before we begin, once again, we are required by law to share this with you. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm gonna show you a lot of performance results going over a lot of charts in different markets, different time frames using these entry techniques. But please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. Also, please remember that all examples are strictly for educational purposes only. Now, since we are an educational company, uh, there's lots of ways to get education from us. You don't have to sign up to be a student or a member. You can also follow us on Twitter. Every day on a daily basis, I post different uh, educational information, anywhere from signals our strategies have generated, and I try to explain a little bit what's behind those signals, to little bits of financial wisdom that I've accumulated along the way. So there's lots of great free education on a daily basis. There's our handle right there. So I invite each and every one of you who haven't done so already to follow us on Twitter. Now remember, once again, we are different from other webinars you may have attended in the past. I know I see a lot of old faces here on our list. I also see a lot of new names here. So if you're coming here today thinking we're gonna be like other webinars you may have attended, where I'm gonna tell you what I think the market's gonna do, if it's gonna to top out or keep on making new highs, or if I have a great stock for you to buy uh, once I've concluded today, or a great stock to sell. <laughs> you know, you've come to the wrong place because that goes entirely against our philosophy. Remember, as an educator, we're here to educate you so that ultimately the goal is for you to make your trading decisions, not us. You see, it's our belief that the reason why most traders fail is because most traders give the power away. You're letting somebody else trade for you. I mean, if you don't believe it, how do you make your trading decisions? You go to a chat room, you go to other webinars where somebody has a great idea what he thinks you should buy or sell. You listen to the guys on TV, what they say on a nightly basis, what they think the market's going to do. You have some convoluted indicator, you have no idea what it's based off of. Okay, this is the way most traders trade, myself included, when I first started trading. And this is why most traders struggle, if not fail, because you're giving your power away. So our goal at Specialist Trading and Pro Trader Strategies is not to trade for you. It's not to force feed you signals and tell you what we think the market's gonna do. Our goal as a mentor, as a teacher, is simply to teach you how to trade with the specialist edge. This is the same edge that was taught to me some 44 years ago, what has sustained me, and hopefully it'll do the same for you, okay? So we're gonna start in just a few seconds, but a few uh, things I wanna cover. First of all, if you're new to my webinars, uh, I like to take the questions at the very end. So I see some people are already asking questions, please. If you have one, kindly wait till the very end of today's class. I won't answer any questions till we get to the end. The only question I will answer is, is this being recorded? Yes, it is. So if you have to leave early or if you're having technical issues, we'll send each and every one of you a link to this recording, okay? All right, with that said, let us begin. Now, I wanna start out by telling you that, you know, even though I was a specialist on the floor of the stock exchange and I traded during the crash of 87 and so forth, I still, my first year struggled tremendously. I was doing the same things that probably a lot of you were doing, okay? Trying to uh, pick bottoms, pick tops, listening to all the gurus, you know, waiting for all the economic news and the indicators to cross and all the earnings reports to come out. All the things we're taught that are supposed to work and guess what? Probably like many of you are going through right now, nothing was working. That's because there's no consistency in that. Now I had a trading plan that was based on some sound fundamental techniques, but it still wasn't working well. So I wanna share with you what my mentors taught me over four decades ago on the stock exchange trading floor. These were specialists themselves who saw how much I was struggling. And this is what they said to me. They said, Steve, one of the main reasons why you continue to lose money is not due to your trading strategy. I thought that was strange because I thought, you know, your trading strategy is everything. In other words, if you're losing money, your trading strategy must not work very well or it must not be very, uh, you know, uh, pertinent to what's going on in the markets and it must be faulty. But they said not, it's not really your trading strategy. They said it's because you are applying an incorrect type of entry. So I didn't understand what that meant. I said, how can it be an incorrect type of entry? You know, when the strategy generates a buy signal, I buy. When it generates a sell signal, I sell. I mean, well, what is wrong with my entry? Well, here's what they taught me. They said, Steve, there are only two types of entries. And I thought, what do you mean two types of entries? 
but now it makes perfect sense. And most of the reasons why we fail is if we have you know, a valid strategy is not because the strategy is faulty, just like that student in the uh, first uh, slide I share with you. It wasn't a bad idea based on his strategy to buy Neil. It was just he was out of sync with type of entry he should be using. All right, so what are these two types of entries? Well, the first one is called a continuation entry. What does that mean? Well, that means your strategy or whatever market you're trading, doesn't matter if it's currency pair, doesn't matter if it's a future, doesn't matter if it's a stock. A continuation entry is based on a trend that's established or already established, as we see here in this generic chart. And with continuation entries, we're not looking to fine tune, to pick a spot. We're just buying all the way up at certain points, okay? Because we're continuing with the trend. So that is the main uh, you know, way we trade a continuation entry. We continue with whatever the trend is already established. We don't wait to buy lower. We don't wait to, to fine tune our entry. We just buy into it, okay? Now, the second type of entry is called a pullback entry. It's entirely different from continuation. Here's the way a pullback entry works. It waits for some already established trend. But as we all know, no trend will last forever. A trend all of a sudden will stop and it'll start to reverse. Now, at this point, a lot of people think, well, now the trend is starting to go to the downside. And sometimes that is true. But other times, it only, what we call, what it does is retrace or pull back to a certain level or certain requirements. It's at this point that a pullback entry will be generated right here during the pullback. So you can buy at lower levels before the trend resumes. You see, think of a stair step. A right? stair step just doesn't go straight up like a ramp. If you have a ramp, well, that's perfect for continuation entries. But if you have a stair step, one step sideways, one step sideways, that's more of conducive to a pullback type of entry, okay? So how do we trade these two different entry points? Well, this is where we introduce steps. This is where I teamed up with Pro Trader Strategies and we developed these proprietary entry techniques to help you. Because the first thing you have to do is decide which type of trader you are. Are you a continuation type trader or are you a pullback type trader? That makes all the difference. One is not better than the other. It's not as if one makes more money and one does less. You know, it doesn't work that way. What works is that you must be in sync with whatever style of entry point that is. And most traders, unfortunately, are out of sync. Now, this is why we came up with steps, because these are the entries for those two specific types of trading. But let me first describe what STEPS is not. STEPS stands for Short Term Entry Points. So it is not a strategy. These are just specific entry points. You already have to have a strategy or a method or an idea of what you want to do in place. Short-term entry points or steps simply provide you with these high probability points of entry. So if you're having trouble pulling the trigger, if you don't know exactly where to get in or you don't trust your current method because it's getting you in too early or getting you in too late, this is where steps comes in really handy. So once again, this is what steps is, but what steps is not is once again, it's not a strategy, it's not an indicator, but it's two completely different proprietary entry techniques that can be applied to your current trading method, or a lot of our students like to use these as building blocks for the construction of one. A lot of students like to build their own strategies. Well, this is a perfect place to start with the entry point and then build around that. Okay, so steps one is for continuation traders. Okay, so if you're a continuation trader, if you've done a little soul search and you say to yourself, you know what? I don't like to you know, buy a pullbacks. I, I like to buy while the market's going. I need that action. Well, steps one is for continuation traders. It's for continuation traders who want to get in the trade now. How many times have you been in a fast market and you're saying to yourself, wow, uh, you know, this thing, it just keeps going up and up and up. I just don't know where to get in. That's where steps one can come in and help you. Also, steps one is for traders who don't mind buying higher if the trend is going up or if the trend is going down, they don't mind selling lower. I mean, this is a very difficult thing for a lot of traders. I know myself, when I first started, it was very difficult for me. I remember when I first started on the floor, my uh, mentor used to see a stock going up 
And even when it was up 10 points, he would continue buying it. And I thought that was so difficult. How can you keep buying it at these high levels? And he was right because he was using these principles that he didn't mind buying higher or if it was going lower, he didn't mind shorting it as it was going down lower. So that's a continuation entry. Steps one is also for traders who want lots of trades. A lot of traders have more of a gambling mentality, which really isn't conducive to professional trading. But a gambling mentality, you know, just also means that you like a lot of action. You need a lot of stimulus. You need a lot of things going on. You don't want to be sitting, staring at your computer all day. You want stuff happening. So if you want or need that type of action, you're a steps one type of trader. Step one, continuation traders also want to add to their positions. How many times, this is especially good uh, for longer term traders. Let's say you are an investor. How many times have you gotten into position and you see you have a very nice, nice profit? You say to yourself, wow, I should have bought more. Maybe I should get back in and buy some more and double my position because there seems no stop to this, but you don't know where to get in. That's where steps one can come in because it can really help you to add to your current position. Or a lot of times, maybe you got into a trade, you made a nice little quick trade and you said to yourself, wow, that was a nice uh, little bit of money I made. And then it continues to go in your direction. You want to get back in because you feel like you gave away too much money. Well, this is what steps one is for. And then lastly, steps one is for traders who don't mind taking on higher risk. Okay, that's a very important factor for traders, a very important psychological factor because even though you may have a strategy, it's been back tested, say you bought it from some uh, trader and it goes back 10 years, it never fails, it does great, right? Then you look at the worst case drawdown of the risk, <clears throat> excuse me, and it takes on some really big uh, drawdowns or some huge risk and you don't feel comfortable. Well, then steps one isn't for you. But if you feel perfectly okay, if you have enough uh, capital to, to carry that risk, well, then you don't mind steps one type of trades. Okay. So these are the characteristics of a steps one trader. Now, conversely, as we look here at this uh, chart of NEO, remember when my student wanted to buy this? Here's the process you would have gone through originally if you were looking to enter this. Let's say the student was a steps one type of trader. Well, look at all the steps one entry points he could have taken advantage of, okay? Whether he decided to buy it prior to it breaking out or whether once it did break out, he wanted to get back in. Look at all the advantages of these high probability entry points. Now, let's go on to the second type of category and that's steps two. This is for pullback traders, okay? Remember, pullback traders are entirely different than continuation traders. Steps two traders, don't mind waiting to enter into a trade, okay? They don't need that action. They don't have that type of persona where I need to be doing something every day, all right? And maybe you may even go an entire day, maybe an entire week without even taking a trade. If you're okay with that, well, then you're a steps two type of trader. Also, pullback traders who want to buy low and sell high, okay? They don't feel comfortable with a stock up five points and then buying more, or they don't feel comfortable shorting a stock and then seeing it go down three points and say, you know what, I'll short some more. You know, that's not good for them. What they want to do is to buy at a lower level and hold on or to sell and go short at a higher level before it heads lower. This is a, a, a very strong characteristic of pullback traders. Step two traders also want less trades. Once again, you don't mind saying, well, I didn't trade this week. Well, that's okay. All right, it's okay, or else maybe, you know, before you had 20 trades a day, now you only have maybe one trade every couple of days. That's okay, they, they feel comfortable with less trades. Step two traders also like to trade higher time frames. Step two is very conducive to more towards investors or more towards just longer term uh, uh, type of investments, okay? IRA accounts, whatever, because, you know, you're, since you're not interested in all this action, you're looking for that fine tuning point of where to actually enter. And then lastly, steps two is for pullback traders who prefer less risk, all right? They do not feel comfortable holding a lot of risk overnight. They do not sleep very well knowing that they have a huge drawdown or they're trading a method that has tremendous risk. Once again, take that example of someone who purchased a system or a strategy is supposed to work tremendously going back 10 years. Uh, it hardly ever fails, but you see the drawdown or the overnight risk, and this is tremendous. You wouldn't be able to sleep at night. Well, pull, uh, pullback traders or step two traders don't like that. 
they want as le least risk as possible. So if you're falling under that category, you are a steps two trader. Now, just to give you a little bit of insight into this, remember, there is no right or wrong way or category to be in. What is wrong is if you are a steps two trader and you're trading a steps one type of entry, or if you're a steps one trader and you're trading a steps two types of entry, that's what's wrong. But falling in and being in sync with your particular category, steps one or steps two, is neither better nor worse than the other. What matters is that you are in sync and you know what makes you feel comfortable, okay? Most traders, when they have difficulty, are trading something that is out of sync with their persona. That's why you don't feel comfortable trading a particular method. I can't tell you when I was struggling how many methods I purchased or different things I tried that made me feel uncomfortable because they didn't fit my persona at the time. Now, just once again, to give you a little insight, when I first started trading on the floor many, many years ago, four decades ago, you know, I was buying and selling things in a matter of minutes. Therefore, I was more conducive to being a steps one type of trader. Now, in my old age and my, uh, you know, my time uh, restraints so that I can't trade all the time and, and also, uh, you know, be in front of the charts, I am more of a pullback type trader or steps two trader. I like less risk because I can't follow and watch things. So I want to know that I fine tune uh, an entry point and I don't have to worry about it that much. And I don't have to be trading every five seconds. Okay. Once again, one is not better than the other. The only thing that is wrong is when you are out of sync. So you have to do this soul searching and really ask yourself, which type of category do you follow, uh, do you fall under? And then follow the one that makes you feel the most comfortable. This is the beauty of steps. We can provide you with those high probability entry points once you understand which style is conducive to your persona. So let's look at that chart Neo once again. Well, before the steps one trader had a ton of signals. With steps two, you have one signal right here at the bottom of this little sell-off prior to that so-called breakout. If you didn't want to trade and wait for the breakout, well, simply you wait for this sell-off and you get in here. Okay. You see how it's different from steps one? Okay, so let's look at some current steps one and steps two examples and show you the process to go through on our platform. Remember, all of these are auto-generated on our platform. So we take all the hard work out of it for you. It's your job to come up with some type of plan or some type of strategy or some type of uh, you know uh, method that tells you where you're going to get out, that tells you where you're going to place your stop, that tells you uh, you know what particular uh, uh, rules it's based off of. But if you want help with the entry, if you want to re-enter, if you want to buy with less risk than your strategy is currently telling you, that's when you decide to use steps. That's the beauty of steps. We really feel we can increase your odds for consistency more by adding these specific entry points to your current trading plan. Okay, so let's look at CAT, Caterpillar Tractor, all right? Looking back in hindsight, oh gosh, sure, you would have loved to have bought this, right? Let's say you actually did buy this and you got out with a nice little quick profit. But then, as you see here, it continues going higher. Where would you get back in? Well, if you were a Steps 1 trader, you click on Steps 1 on our platform. In the drop-down menu, simply click on Signal Arrows. And here are all the different places you have to get in, okay? Remember, Steps 1 traders like a lot of action. They like a lot of signals. Now, we're not going to say you're going to take each and every one of these signals. But let's just say it was right here about this time uh, in July, okay? You decided this is going to go up. Now, a lot of traders would say, well, Steve, why would I want to take this trade? Look at it. I bought here, and then look what happened. The next week, it went down. Well, sure, this is where it comes into play which type of trader you are. Because once again, if you do not like this type of risk, you shouldn't be trading steps one type of entry points. All right, Not, not all entry points are going to be having you buying at the top. There were some nice ones right here that had you buying towards the lows. But remember, once again, Perhaps you're a longer term trader. And even if you bought here and the next week it went down, look what happened three or four months later. So looking back in hindsight, wouldn't you have loved to have bought here? Okay, 30, 40 points lower. Now, if this is too many trades for you, if it's too much risk, well, then perhaps you're a steps two type of trader. Click on steps two in the drop down menu, click on signal arrow, and you have much less trades, but look at where the trades are initiated at the very bottom of those sell-offs, okay? So less risk, 
but this also comes with less trades as well. Once again, the important thing is for you to decide which style makes you feel the most comfortable. Let's look at this example in GILD. Gilead, okay? Going down, in hindsight, you say to yourself, wow, I wish I would have shorted this, or maybe you were long, where would I have gotten out? All right. If you're a steps one trader, click on steps one, click on signal arrow, look at all the opportunities you had to sell this. Now see, this is where we say steps one traders don't mind selling at the very low. Looking back a week earlier, it was much higher. Had you not taken these two signals, a lot of traders would say, how can I sell down here? I wish I would have sold here. But looking back in hindsight, a month or two later, that would have been a very nice place to sell. But if that is just too much risk for you, if you don't feel comfortable, perhaps you're a steps two trader, click on steps two. In the drop down menu, click on signal arrow and automatically, you only had one sell here, but look at where this occurred, right? At the very top of that bounce, you could have gotten short and then ultimately made all this profit to the downside right here, okay? Once again, it does not matter which style you have. What matters is that you pick the entry point that makes you feel the most comfortable. That's the beauty of steps. All right, let's look at SPCE, okay? Uh, this is Virgin Galactic Holdings, all right? Let's say you love this stock. You got in and then you got out and you said, oh boy, I, I, where do I get back in? Because I think this thing's just gonna take off. Well. Click on steps one and look at all the bicycles you have here. All the chances to get back in. This is the beauty of steps one. It's perfectly meant for a continuation trader. A continuation trader is a trader who doesn't mind buying while the trend continues to go either higher or either lower. Same thing happened here in QS, all right? Let's say you miss this. Well, as a steps one trader, you had more chances to get in, three more chances to get in. Even though you didn't get at the bottom, while the trend is continuing higher, it's giving you these buy points. Now, looking at HYLN, all right? If you're a steps two type trader, obviously you don't wanna be selling or buying at the high or selling at the low. Let's say you wanted to sell this, but looking in hindsight, where would be the most opportune place to sell this? Well, obviously it would be right here, right? So click on steps two, Look at the sell signal that was generated right here at the top. I mean, that's a really nice little trade there. You could have gotten short at 27 and made a quick 10 points. Or let's say you were long, that would have been your point to get out and you would have missed all this as a loss. As we look at OLLI, all these uh, bargain outlet holdings, okay? Once again, a steps one trader wants to be selling in this continuation of trend. So look at all the places you could sell. <coughs> Excuse me. Even though you're selling at the bottom here, in hindsight, those are nice places to continue selling. That original sell signal was at roughly at 88. Uh, the stock fell uh, roughly 10 points in the next week, even though you would have been selling around the lows. All right, let's look at Nike. If you are a steps two type trader, what you want to do is buy at the lows, okay? You don't want a lot of risk and you want to buy near the lows. You don't want to be buying here as it's going up. You don't feel comfortable that way. You want to be buying somewhere down here, all right? This is the most opportune place to buy. So then all you would have to do once this happened, every day you would click up steps number two to see if a signal was generated. You know you like the stock, all right? You know you've been doing your research. Perhaps you like to look at fundamental news. Perhaps you like to look at earnings. Either way, you know you want to buy this. You just don't know where the exact point is to buy if you're a steps two type of trader. Well, we've taken the hard work out of it for you. Every day, you would simply click on steps number two, and once you saw an up arrow, that is your fine-tuned entry point, all right? Could have bought here a couple of days of not going in your direction, but then after that, it went from 122 up nearly 20 points, okay? Here's another example of how sometimes things work against you and how you can get back in the trade, how you can reverse. For example, looking at WBA, Walgreens, let's say you really love this stock. You really loved it, but you're a quick trader and you don't mind you know, going long and then going short. You just want to feel comfortable. Well, right here, what do we have? A bullish engulfing pattern. So you feel really comfortable that this is going to go up. So you decide to buy, all right? You want that action. You think it's going to really take off and then this happens, okay? Well. 
steps one type of traders, remember, they like a lot of trades and they're very easily able to quickly reverse. So let's say you did go long. Well, how do you get back into the other side? Click on steps one and look at all the chances it gave you either to exit the trade you were already in or to stop and reverse and go short. This is the beauty of either being a steps one trader or a steps two trader. All right, let's look at this older chart, United Airlines. Okay, this is one of the stocks I used to trade on the floor of the stock exchange, okay? This is at the beginning of the year when there's a lot of movement. We all remember what happened when COVID was first announced and how the market fell out of bed. If you were, let's say, an option trader who liked to buy puts, who wanted to take advantage of this, obviously the best place to buy puts, looking back in hindsight, would have been here at the very top of these levels before the strong sell-off. And then if you wanted to continue, sell uh, or buy puts right here, by here and right here. Or if you wanted to, if you're more aggressive, you could have shorted the stock. But how could you have done that, all right? Let's say you have a strategy that isn't designed to get you in like that, or it maybe it gets you in too late or too early, all right? So here's where steps two comes into play. All you have to do is click on steps two. Look at the sell signal right here at the very top. This was in January before any of the really disastrous news came out about COVID and, and the pandemic. And then as we made these lows, look at the bounces here. Every bounce, another sell signal was generated. So do you see how steps two fine tunes these tops or bottoms if you're a steps two type of trader? Same thing with Tesla, okay? Let's say you're already long Tesla in your uh, IRA account, okay? Let's, maybe you bought a couple of shares. Okay? It is expensive stock. All right, here is a daily chart of Tesla going back to July coming into this uh, month in, in uh, December. You want to add to your position. Well, another way to do that is simply trying to find areas where you can buy at these lows because you are a steps two type of trader. Once we applied steps two, look at the places you could have added on to your position right here at these lows. Now, this one went a little bit lower, but looking back in hindsight, don't you think you would have loved to have bought roughly at 420 when the stock was up nearly 250 points higher, okay, in the next month? So remember, these are really great to help you make your decisions, but they are not strategies in and of themselves. They don't give exit points. They don't give stop placement. They don't give uh, money management and a correct amount of shares to buy. Those are all things you already need to have in place with you. Now let's look at some different time frames. Let's look at some different markets because you can apply steps to any market or time frame. Now, specifically, let's talk about news. This came out in the LA Times on November 30th. Moderna announces primary e efficacy in phase three study, okay? The biotechnology company pioneering messenger RNA or mRNA therapeutics and vaccines to create a new generation of transformative uh, medicines for patients. Today announced that the primary efficacy analysis of the phase three study conducted on 196 cases confirms the high efficacy observed at the first interim analysis. To put it bluntly, the data analysis indicates a vaccine efficacy of 94.1%. Think of that. I mean, 94.1%. Anyone looking at that news, even myself, I don't follow fundamental news. That's great news for all of us, all right? So this came out November 30th on the efficacy of the phase three study. As we look at the weekly chart here in Moderna, that's where the news came out. Unfortunately, this is the way most traders trade. They see this news or some guy announces it on TV or they go to a blog and some guy saying, oh, you have to buy this stock. This is going to skyrocket. This is amazing. And this is where they buy. All right. But let's say you have been tracking this for a long time. And your strategy said, well, you got to wait for the good news to come out. Well, you would have been buying right here close to the tops. Wouldn't you, if you were a steps one trader, like to take advantage of all these different points because you already like the stock. You just didn't know where to buy it. All right. Or if you were a steps two trader right here at this sell-off in September on a weekly chart, here's where you could have bought it, roughly at 60 before the stock went up uh, over 100%. So even, this is what I always tell my students, news is really something that is a day late and a dollar short. You shouldn't wait for news to come out before you make a decision. When the market is giving you all these opportunities, you just have to decide which type of trader you are, firstly, a steps one or a steps two type trader. Here's another example. Let's say you're long VLO, all right, in your long-term account, and you're having a disastrous year, all right? The stock just fell out of bed, went from roughly 100 all the way down to 33, and you want to get out. 
Here's another way some of our students use steps, all right? Obviously, you'd want to get out of your position somewhere around these levels. Using steps two, it gave you two chances to get out. You could have either gotten out and reversed if you wanted to, or just exited your long term before it started to go down and make those new lows. Let's look at an entirely different market. Let's look at the currency pairs. This is the euro dollar, a four hour chart. So a completely different market, completely different time frame. All right, looking back in hindsight, how could steps one traders have taken advantage of this? Let's say you love the euro dollar, you just don't know where to get in. Look at all the entry points with steps one, all right? Now, let's say you love the euro dollar, but you're not a steps one type of trader. You only wanna fine tune your entry. You wanna buy low. Steps two enters one trade right here at the very bottom of this sell-off. Same process can be seen in a five minute chart of the E-mini, okay? This was just last week. The E-mini was going straight down in a five minute chart. Now, if you're a day trader, especially trading in a short term time frame like the five minute chart of the E-mini, you wanna just get in and get in because a lot of times these trends just keep going and going. So obviously what you wanna do is click on steps one, click on signal arrow, and while we're heading south, Look at all the places you could have entered to get in short, just sold the E-mini. Now, if you don't like to take on that risk, if you feel uncomfortable because you feel like, oh, gosh, Steve, I just can't do that because I know the minute I sell, it's gonna stop and go back up. I'd like to sell at a higher level. I don't need all these trades. I just wanna pick one good spot a day that's a high probability setup. Well, then you'd click on steps number two. Though not guaranteed, it will provide you with a high probability setup. And here's the one right up here. So you could have sold at 36.75 and made roughly eight or nine points in the next uh, 15 minutes to a half an hour, okay? That's $400 per contract. And then lastly, here's a weekly chart of Bitcoin. We've all seen lately that Bitcoin is going straight up again. Now it's even higher uh, than this chart here. The last week it's gone straight up. When I took this uh, uh, snapshot uh, this past week, uh, it was at lower levels, it's much higher now. So let's say you've been watching Bitcoin for a while. All your friends have been talking about it, how you got to get back in. Okay, you just don't know where to get back in or you don't know where to get in at all because you're not really familiar with this market and you just don't understand how it works. You just know that it's going to go up. Well, this is where steps one comes into play. Look at all these chances you could have had to take advantage of steps one entry. All right, this is going back this past year. Now, let's say you want to enter Bitcoin, but you're a steps two type of entry person. You want just that one high probability setup. Well, right here in September on that short term sell off at the very lows before it's been going up ever since. So let's review. There are only two types of entries. You have to decide for yourself which one makes you feel the most comfortable. Are you a continuation type of trader? Therefore, you're going to use only continuation type of entries. Or are you a pullback type of trader? If you are, therefore, you would only be using pullback type of entries. See, the problem comes in when you are a continuation trader and you're entering on a pullback. You don't feel comfortable. You don't have enough trades. You're waiting around too long. There's not enough action. Uh, you, you don't mind taking on the risk. And, you know, this is waiting for a fine tune. So it, it, you're not going to trade the method properly. And you'll probably get in too early, get out. because You won't trust the method. or if you're a pullback trader, but it just keeps the strategy or system you're trading just gives you continuation entries. You don't feel comfortable. You keep on buying higher and you can't sleep at night because you're taking on too much risk. That's the problem with traders. It's not that your method is wrong. It's not that you're picking the wrong stocks or the wrong market. It's not that you have the wrong ideas about what's gonna happen. It's your entries are faulty. It's because you're out of sync with these two types of styles. Once you have steps, steps can put you in the right direction because steps can be applied to any strategy. It can be applied to any market, it can be applied to any time frame, and it can be applied in any direction. So that's the beauty of steps, and everything is one click away on our platform. So we have a great end of year special offer for all of you taking time out of, to uh, view this particular presentation today. We're gonna have a great discount for you on our steps course, all right? Remember, steps, stands for short-term entry points, okay? It's not a system, it's not a full-fledged strategy, but we'll give you the complete course. It comes with two proprietary techniques along with the continuation and pullback entries. Also, you can apply it to your current strategy or build your own strategy. The beauty of steps is once you know these high probability entry points, it gives you the confidence to pull the trigger. So many traders 
they say to themselves, you know, I had the right idea. I was following that stock, just like the first example I share with you, but they don't do anything about it. Then they look back and say, gosh, why didn't I buy this? Or maybe I did buy it and I got out too early. I didn't know where or how to get back in. All right. Now, the beauty of this offer today is that it includes the new PTS Primo charting platform. This is the educational platform that automatically generates steps one and steps two entry points. So we've taken the hard work out of it for you. All you have to do, as you saw in the presentation, is click on either steps one or steps two. Click on signal arrows and you'll know exactly where those entry points are for your particular strategy signal. Now, we're gonna throw in and give you 12 months for 1764, okay? I know that sounds like a lot of money. In fact, that's too much money. We're gonna give you 12 months entirely free. We're gonna throw in with the steps course a full year usage of the platform. Now, one of the best things, in my opinion, about the platform, along with getting steps, along with getting all these other tools and techniques and methods that I've accumulated in over four decades, the best thing, in my opinion, are the scanners because we've made them so simple and you can actually scan on a nightly basis for the step setups for the next day. Let me share with you how simple it is, okay? On our platform, let's say you're a steps one trader. Click on scan in that drop down menu and you'll see this page appear, okay? Click on load symbols and we provide you with symbol lists of different markets, the S&P, NASDAQ, Asian markets, European markets, currency pairs, futures, Bitcoin, commodities, any market you can think of, we'll provide you with a symbol list. Whatever one you decide to pick on, just load it and it magically appears in a couple of seconds, all right? Once you see that, it's as simple as clicking on scan. In about 30 seconds, you'll see a list of either green or red horizontal bars. The green bars mean there's a buy signal with corresponding stock. The red ones mean there's a sell signal. Now, let's say you were a member of our steps course. You could have scanned last week for this. Here's a slide of Disney, okay? Let's say you've been following Disney and your particular method or just the way you like to trade, let's say you like to look at news or let's say you like to look at support and resistance. It really doesn't matter. But you've been tracking this and you're saying to yourself, gosh, I've been watching this stock and I haven't done anything about it. I don't know where to get in. And I just keep missing this tremendous profits. I've liked it ever since it was roughly about 100. Now it's 150. Well, if you had scanned the night before, I believe on the 9th, you would have seen that steps number one generated a buy signal on the 9th of December, which was, if I look here at my calendar, a week ago. Okay. So a week ago, you would have seen a buy signal in steps. You said to yourself, well, you know, Steve says these are high probability entries. Okay. You could have purchased calls. You could have actually bought the stock or maybe just use this as paper trading, but look what happened in the next two days. Okay. Actually went up 25 points. So this is the beauty of having this. Now, if you had taken the other signals we had generated and you could have scanned for these, look at all the other bicycles in advance of that one, okay? Lots more you could have taken well before this one on the ninth. So this just happened. You know, I know a lot of webinars will show you great signals and say, look at how well you could have done. And then you look at the date and it was like two years ago, right? This was last week using steps, the, the course we're talking about right now. And it includes the ability to scan on a nightly basis on our platform. Remember, you're getting a free full year's usage of the platform, which makes it so much more easier to trade with steps. All right, let's break it down. The steps course usually costs $24.95, okay? We have a great discount for you today. What we're gonna be doing for a very limited time is pricing it for a one-time payment of $4.97 and then a $97 per month lease. That's it. Okay, one time of $4.97 and then just simply $97 per month. This is a special discount. We're making our end of year discount available for a limited time. All right, you don't have to come up with $24.95 just for less than $500. I mean, think of that. I know going back at the beginning of the year, you've probably been struggling. Think of someone would have told you at the beginning of 2020, all you have to come up with is $500 and then $97 per month. You could have taken advantage of all of these great setups that steps is generating on a nightly basis. So this is a great offer. Take your trade entries to the next level in 2021. Don't let 2021 turn out the way 2020 was, all right? Become a member of the STEPS course today. Now, one last thing I did mention is that every course member gets my private email address. You'll be able to email me whenever you'd like with any questions on how to trade STEPS 
If you have certain questions or if you want to share with me an example that you're interested in, and I will email you back with my advice and my suggestions on what to do, okay? So as your mentor, you get my personal email address to contact me whenever you'd like, and I'll answer through my suggestions and, and through my education. All right, here's how to take advantage of this great offer. Remember, it's a limited time only. It's our end of year offer for fine tuning your entries with steps. Contact Pro Trader Strategies. They're my sister site. They developed all of the uh, platform and they're in charge of all the discounts. Uh, you can contact them. I would highly recommend calling them at 310-598-6677. If you have any questions about tech support or the platform or even pricing, they would be more than happy to answer your questions since they're in charge of all that. I'm in charge of all the teaching and trading. They're in charge of the tech support and the platform and the pricing and the discounts, okay? Now that link you see at the very bottom is the link that will take you to the info page. It'll also uh, allow you to sign up on that page if you'd like. It's not a live link, but a live link has just been uh, posted on the chat box. You look on the chat box, or you go to webinar column, you'll see one posted there. And so you can click that on, okay? Now I promised I would answer your questions at the very end. So we have a good 10 or 15 minutes left. If you have a question concerning Anything I went over today, please feel free to ask me right now, and I will answer it to the best of my ability, okay? Um, let's see. It's good to uh, attend the webinar, so thank you. You're more than welcome. Um, one of the things that a lot of students are asking, and I see here I've got a number of questions. They're saying, can this work intraday? Can we scan intraday? Yes, that's one thing I didn't bring up, but you can scan for intraday setups. That's another thing with the beauty of the scanner. So let's say you're an industry trader of uh, British pound, or you like to trade, once again, a five or a 10 minute chart of the E-mini futures. You can scan for a, a, a steps one or a steps two setup. So the, the uh, scanner is not just for someone who wants to come home at the end of work and say, okay, well, what are the setups for tomorrow? Or if you want to scan on an hourly basis, we have all these different time frames you can do that for. Yeah, that's one of the best things, okay? Um, what else is included with the platform? Okay, good question. Obviously, you'll get the one-click access to steps one and steps two. You'll get the scanner capabilities with all the different markets. And just off the top of my head, you'll get our uh, proprietary buy-sell line. These are four different features which tell you the overall trend of any stock. If you go on the uh, Twitter page, you'll see a lot of examples of that. You'll get our short-term trend identifier, which is our top bottom 25% uh, a tool. This is based off pattern recognition, and this helps with the short-term trend. That's also available on that. You get our strength of trend tool, something I developed with ProTrader Strategies. This is a great tool that has the ability to, oftentimes to find out if a trend is running out of steam or if it still has a lot more left in it. So this can help you if you want to enter into a trade or if you're thinking about exiting. This is a great tool that tells you if there's more gas left in the tank of a particular, uh, a particular type of uh, uh, a trend that's underway. Now, with some of our techniques, we do have exit levels. Now, actually, there is one feature that is included with steps, and you actually can uh, get exit levels uh, with one of our different uh, exit methods. So yes, that, that is included as well. So another great perk. You can use any of these different exit levels with the steps course. Uh, let's see. Lastly, uh, someone is asking, can we apply this with other tools that you have? Yes. One of the best things I've seen of our students have said <clears throat> is that they love to use steps one or steps two with our PTSXT indicator, the extreme trend tool. I've talked about that before and I don't want to get too much in detail, but that's a great tool that if you look on our Twitter page, we have a lot of examples of that. Uh, it has a color, it, it paints a box or a block around an extremely strong uptrend or an extremely strong downtrend. So once you see that block on the screen, you know that there's a good chance it's going to really move strongly to the upside or strongly to the downside. At that point, you can say, I'm going to apply steps number two. And if there's a pullback within that block, that's a very high probability setup. So this is one way our students like to trade this. So that's a, that's a great question. Uh, another question, is there a total one-time sale price? Yes, I believe there is, but that'd probably be a better question to ask uh, uh, Pro Trader Strategy, since they're in charge, Eric, of all the uh, uh, pricing and discounts, I know you're a good student, you're a good uh, customer, so uh, they may be able to give you some type of uh, a leeway or some type of discount if you wanted a one-time uh, type of fee. So I would give them a call. The, let me just explain that 
ProTrader Strategies is in charge of all the pricing and discounts. They're very flexible. In fact, if you call them up right now with pricing questions, there's absolutely no uh, obligation that you have to purchase anything. They would be more than happy to give you a quote, and there's no obligation you have to purchase at that point. And, you know, you could think about it, but they would, you know, make sure that, that they honored that quote for you in the time limit that they gave you. Now, uh, if you're a qualified and returning customer, I'm sure they'd be very flexible in working with you. So I would just refer that to them. You can either email them. You see their email address, trading at protraderstrategies.com. Or if you want a, a much more quick answer, I would call them directly at 310-598-6677. Remember, you can call them on the phone if you're interested in taking advantage of that really discounted price of uh, $497 along with a one-time payment fee of $97 per month. You can do that over the phone right now. They have trading consultants manning the phones. They would be more than happy to take your order over the phone, okay? Okay, we're at just about at the end. If there are no further questions, I just hope you learned something today. I hope you really sit down and try to decipher which type of trader you are because most likely if you're having difficulty, a good part of it may be it's not your strategy or method. You're just out of sync with your entry. I feel if that's really what the problem is, steps one and steps two are perfect for resolving those issues. They will fine tune these, these high probability entry points for whatever style fits your nature. And guess what? It's all one click away on our platform. You'll get the platform for a full year along with all the other perks and all the other trading techniques that are on that platform. So this is a great offer. Take advantage of it. Contact Pro Trader Strategies if you're really interested or give them a call for more information. And as we take one last look at our disclaimer here, thank you so much for taking time out of your Wednesday. I wish you the best of luck, but most especially, I look forward to all of you becoming students of mine in the STEPS course, okay? Thanks, and have a great day. Bye-bye.